Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Kiran Aslam. I am from BS Chemistry. Today I am going to tell you about the manufacturing of SLS and SLS. So first we will talk about the manufacturing of SLS. What is SLS? SLS is sodium lyrile sulfate. Its chemical formula is C12H35SO4NA. It is also called sodium dodecyl sulfate. SLS is negatively charged surfactant, it is an inverting agent that reduces and lowers the surface tension of a liquid and the tension between two liquids. It is commonly used in numerous hygiene, cosmetic, and cleaning products. It has also been, uh, we can call it sulfuric acid, monodicyl ester, sodium sar, sodium sar PTC. This is the structure of sodium lyrile sulfate. It contains carbon chain, sulfate group, and an A cation, sodium cation. Manufacturing of SLS. These are the materials that is required for the manufacturing of SLS. That contains sulfuric acid, lyrile alcohol, sodium carbonate. Procedure for its manufacturing. Sodium lyrile sulfate is prepared by the reaction of sulfuric acid with lyrile alcohol. In the first step, we uh, add lyrile alcohol in sulfuric acid. When these two components are reagents react, it produces lyrile hydrogen sulfate. When we treat lyrile hydrogen sulfate with sodium carbonate, it produces sodium lyrile sulfate, as we can see in this reaction. Here is a schematic diagram for the manufacturing of SLS. In the first step, we add sulfuric acid with lyrile alcohol. It produces hydrogen lyrile sulfate. We add sodium carbonate and we get sodium lyrile sulfate. So after its preparation and manufacturing, we do some analysis. I will perform some tests uh, for its analysis. The first is description. By a pale yellow powder, a crystal will be formed. Solubility, they are freely soluble in water and it forms a solution that is partly soluble in ethanol. Second, a third one is identification. That consists of physical characteristics and color reaction. Physical characteristics. Take about 0.25 gram of sample in glass dropper test tube and add 25 ml of water. When we will shake it, it will, will produce plenty of foam. Second is color reaction. The reagents required for the color reaction identification are methylene blue, sulfuric acid, one molar, dichloromethane. Procedure for color reaction identification. In clean clonical flask, take 0.1 ml of the solution prepared for identification. For example, SLS. Add about 0.1 ml of 0.1% weight by volume solution of methylene blue mix and add 2 ml of 1 molar sulfuric acid. Add 2 ml of dichloromethane and shake it. The dichloromethane there is intensely blue. So next we will see the manufacturing of SLES. What is SLES? Sodium lyrate sulfate. It is an accepted construction of sodium lyrate ether sulfate also called sodium alkyl ether sulfate. It is an anionic detergent and surfactant found in many personal care products and for industrial use. It is inexpensive and very effective forming agent. This is the formula for SLES. It can be produced by ethoxylation of predicyl alcohols. These are the materials required for its manufacturing. That consists of chlorosulfonic acid, lyryl octoxylate, and sodium hydroxide. Here is a procedure for its manufacturing. Its procedure consists of four processes. First one is sulfation, second one is neutralization, third one is scrubbing, and the last one is packing. The first step is sulfation. We do the sulfation of lyrate alcohol by using chlorosulfonic acid. It produces lyrate alcohol sulfuric acid. This reaction takes place in a glass line stirred jacketed reactor, in which we add the acid gradually. The reaction conditions are, it takes place at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius.
should take place at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius in your vacuum over about a period of 2.5 hours. During the sulfation, the HCl is let off as a byproduct. The sulfation product is fed to the neutralization. In the neutralization, we treat the sulfation product with 50% by weight caustic soda solution along with processed water by adjusting its active component. Reaction conditions for neutralization, it carry out, carried out at a room temperature below 45 degrees Celsius and it generates 70% by weight sodium lauryl ether sulfate. Neutralizing reactor. In the neutralizing reactor, the organic sulfuric or sulfonic detergent acid like lauryl sulfuric acid and the neutralizing agent conducting in a wide fill neutralizing reactor where a film of the organic and neutralizing agent is formed in an internal wall of the reactor. During this reaction, the heat is generated. The heat generated is removed by evaporation of water to maintain a desirable temperature for the neutralization. So this is a reaction for neutralization in which we treat a sufficient product with sodium hydroxide that neutralizes it. Next is a scrubbing chamber. The ACL evolved during the sulfonation is fed to a scrubber where it is absorbed in processed water and generates 33% by weight hydrochloric acid solution. The last one is packaging. SLES is fed in drums and then sent to the warehouses at the facilities outside battery limits to be stored. SLES mixing and dilution. The pro product our SLES that we obtained by the above procedure is 70% concentrated. Because of its some physical properties, we can't use it because it is difficult to handle and so it should be diluted below 27% before using it in the process. So for its solution, for its dilution, the innovative SLES mixing and dilution unit designed by TAPFLOW enables an immediate and Continuous preparation of a less concentrated SLES solution. So the design and material for that unit. It contains pumps, progressive cavity pump for 70% SLES solution fuel. Centrifugal pump for mixing SLES with water and pumping the solution. Control and automation, control unit including PLC, pressure transmitters, temperature transmitters, frequency inverters, flow meters, and walls with dedicated control system. It consists of piping, frame, technical data about that unit. Its flow rate is up to 30 meter cube per hour. Its discharge pressure is up to 6 bar gram and its concentration that we obtain is 0 to 27 percent. So in this way, we dilute the concentrated acid. Yes, so this is a schematic diagram. The first step is sufficient in which we add ethoxylate plus chlorosulfonic acid for about 2.5 hours. And we give the temperature of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. The next is neutralizing chamber in which we add the caustic soda and processed water. Third one is scrubber. And the last one uh, is packaging in which we pack it in drums. So here now we will see how we can distinguish between NMRs uh, SLES and SLX. We can distinguish between both of them by using NMR spectra. The SLES is sodium lauryl ether sulfate. It contains an ether group, while sodium lauryl sulfate doesn't. So they uh, both will produce different peaks in NMR. So we can distinguish between them by using NMR spectra. We can also distinguish between them by using chroma value. What is chroma? Chroma is the purity of a color. Chroma is the saturation of a color. Greater the value of chroma, the more intense, more intense the color is. So this is uh, for SLS and this is for SLES. This is dorsal hangul and this is volar for re -arm. The chroma value for SLS is greater, so it shows more intense color as compared to SLES. So we can distinguish between both of them by using chroma value. So here I added some companies that manufacture SLS and SLES. These are the links for that industries. 
uh, some industries are in China and some are in India that manufacture SLS and SLAS. That's all for my side. Thank you.